there, my name is Julie Faith Van Balzer and I'm super excited today to tell you all about the new stencil material from Brother. This is the stencil material and as you can see it comes in a big 12 by 24 sheet which when you get it comes actually all rolled up and it's not actually green. What it is is it's a green backing and on top is a clear sticky so it's adhesive on the back and it's a repositionable you know light adhesive on there so that you can have your stencil and it will stick to anything. Now we're going to try to cut through just that top layer and not through the backing so that we can use our stencil over and over again. So here on my mat, you can see that what I have here is I have a smaller piece of the stencil material already cut and it's just put down onto a standard mat. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up the machine and I'm gonna load in my mat right from the front, making sure to have two hands up there. And then from the home screen, I'm gonna choose pattern. And then on the second screen, there are actually a whole bunch of built-in stencil patterns. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of the stencil patterns. I like these flowers a lot. So I'm gonna choose that. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, maybe just under five by five or something like that. And then I'm gonna say set. Okay, I like it, it looks good, but I need to scan in my material because I wanna make sure that I'm gonna place this exactly where I want to on my stencil material. Okay, so once it comes up, I can go ahead and I can drag it onto my stencil material. You do want to leave a small border all the way around to give it enough room to cut. Then I'm ready to hit OK and cut. And you'll notice that I have my blade set at a three, which is what's recommended to cut through just the stencil material and not the whole thing. But of course, you should do a test cut to make sure that your machine is set properly for your machine and your blade. Once I'm ready, I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload the mat, and now we need to do a process called weeding. Weeding is a process where you remove the parts that you don't want from a stencil that's like this. So now, as you know, I set the blade so that it would only cut through just that top layer. You can see the backing is still intact. Now I can tell you there is a kind of also cheater method to do this, which I think I'm gonna show you as well, which is if you pull the whole backing away, you can often, manage to leave a lot of those inside bits right onto the backing paper, which you can see I did there. And then you can finish cleaning it up just with a little bit of pulling away. And soon enough, as soon as you've done that, you'll have your stencil ready for use. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at balsardesigns.typepad.com and as always, visit the Scan & Cut website at scanandcut.com.